Right. So, someone needs to make this video. Someone needed to make this video a long time ago. Nobody has made this video, so I might as well try. This isn't going to be particularly entertaining, but it will be informative. What I'm going to tell you are the basics on mob spawn theory. There's a lot of confusion about what works, what doesn't work, what's necessary, what isn't necessary, what works with what updates, and what doesn't. And a lot of people are going out there and making all sorts of things to control mobs, and they don't understand why they are working or why they are not working. Now I have a number of points that I'm going to share with you that I got from the Minecraft Wiki. This is point zero. Read the Minecraft Wiki. Do it. Now point one is, as much as logic might want to tell you this, difficulty does not affect the spawn rate of mobs, period. What it does affect is it affects how much damage they inflict upon you, how much damage you take from falling, and how much health they have. It has nothing to do with how many of them there are. Two. Mobs don't spawn on certain materials. Mobs won't spawn on glass, and mobs won't spawn on half blocks. There might be some other blocks that I'm not aware of. I haven't come across them yet. I can do some experiments with those two types of blocks. They just, they won't spawn. The third thing is, slimes will spawn on peaceful. They will attack you. They won't spawn below the 15th level, the top of bedrock being six or something. Point four, light affects what will spawn and what won't. Hostile mobs will only spawn at a light level of seven or lower. Ghasts are a bit different, they'll spawn at any light level, but let's forget about them for this. Just for reference, right on the block that you put it, torches have a light level of 14. Fire, sunlight, glowstone, jack-o'-lanterns, and lava all have a light level of 15. Moonlight has a light level of 4, and redstone torches all have a light level of 7. And since they have a light level of 7, it's impossible to stop hostile mob spawning with redstone torches. Hypothetically speaking, if you were able to maintain a light level of 8, nothing would spawn, but you can't do that in game. Point 5 is that the game limits the number of hostile mobs to 200. The game further limits the number of friendly mobs to 15. So while there might be an abundance of hostile mobs, use your friendly mobs wisely. So now rounding into the final point, point six. Point six will be illustrated in game in this uh, box that I made in MC Edit just exclusively for this reason. This is a 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine chunk cube. And if you don't know, a chunk is a cube of 16x16. 16 16. It is the standard unit that Minecraft world files are saved in. There should actually be an extra, what do you call that, level of chunks, but the skybox chops it off, so there are only eight chunks. Anyway, so, squarely in the middle of the middle chunk, having four on that side, four on that side, and being in the middle of this chunk right here, this box illustrates how far away from you, at this point, mobs are able to spawn. So mobs are able to spawn in a box that is 114 by 114 from the skybox to the ground around you. Any distance beyond that and mobs won't be able to spawn. 
Now there is one further level of complication to the algorithm. So I have materialized out of nothingness this sphere of glass, and this sphere of glass represents where mobs cannot spawn. Mobs cannot spawn within a 24 block radius of your current location. So anywhere outside of this glass sphere and inside of this checkerboard box, mobs can spawn anywhere inside the sphere or outside the checkerboard box. Nothing spawns, nothing goes on, nothing is calculated outside the box. So if you want things to spawn, get away from it, not too far away from it, but far enough away that they're able to go between you and the far side. Yeah.